Okie dokie. Hello everyone. So the infinite map is nearly complete. It is basically like final testing stages, all that stuff. I want to get it out within like a week or so, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to get that out within within a week. Hopefully, just depends on how how many roadblocks we hit. You know, it's source. You never know what's gonna happen, man. It's it's pretty crazy. So. Um, big highlight of this video is going to be this water system over here that I've added. Well, not really added, but uh, ported. So in my terrain add-on that I created um, a couple months ago, maybe, I added a water system which used water, but it wasn't source water. And I'll, I'll explain why I'm not using source water in a second. But with this system, you basically have... Well, it's just water, so I can go over here. I could swim really far over, however far that is over there. Um, I could put in a, a prop, a, a box or whatever, and it'll it'll float pretty much as you'd expect in the water there. Spawn a whole bunch of boxes, and they'll all float in the water pretty much as you'd expect. You know, it's it's water, man. I don't, I don't know how, what else you really expect from water, but yeah, there you go. So. Um, yeah, pretty much just water. I'm hoping maybe there's going to be, I don't know. I don't know. Water was really requested for some reason. So here you go. Right. Um, so the reason I'm not using source water and instead this fake water that I created with like a buoyancy system and all that stuff, really complicated. I had to like fake source waters as well as possible is source water doesn't really know how to handle my infinite map. So here's a good example, right? Let's say we had a block, and this is going to be source water, and we're gonna we're gonna color it kind of this water texture. Actually, let's make it a little easier to see. Let's let's make it this texture, right? So let's pretend this is water. We're gonna make it like semi-transparent, just like that, and we're gonna put it at this red box here. And this red box is the origin of all the maps. So if I printed or if I got my position right now at this red little sphere thing. It would be zero zero. If even if I went over here, it would still be zero zero because in infinite map, if you remember, I'm actually in the same place over and over. So, like if I was to travel from this over over to here, I'm still in the same place, right? So when source water, it doesn't realize that change, right? So if I have a bunch of source water over here and I move to the same kind of position, I'll start swimming even though the water is over there. If that if that kind of makes sense, because the source, like the internal source stuff, is kind of like, hold on a minute. But your player is at zero zero. You should be inside of this water, and then you're kind of just like, but wait a minute, the water's over there, and the source is like, I don't care. I'm gonna make you swim anyway. So. Um, that's pretty much uh, why I had to create a whole new water system which obeyed the mechanics of my uh, infinite map instead of obeying the mechanics of source water. So um, that's pretty much it for the water system. Uh, you know, there's still some stuff floating in the water over there. But yeah, so another, I did some small changes uh, with regard to just like general kind of um, small code edits, optimizations, you know, got to get the performance as high as possible. Of course, everything is as multiplayer as compatible as possible. Um, another nice thing that has been added is really big prop, right? And if we shove this in between a chunk boundary, so you can see the black line right there is the chunk boundary, you can still walk on it on both sides, just like this. Um, and this is just the property sizer compatibility. You were able to do this before, but it just didn't exist with property sizer. So that's pretty nice. Um, and this mega, this mega man, this mega giga chad, whoever you want to call him, Will from London, probably took a couple hours off of his life adding a better sound detour to the infinite map. And this is really good really nice because if we take an aircraft like this and we fly it over 
you can still hear it even though it's over there and man that really just it sells the illusion that the map truly is infinite and this plane is actually over there in that location even though it's technically in this little box area um, technically so we can go back over here should be able to hear it still get rid of it all works fine um, so if I was to like put a thruster or something over here on on this side a, a ton of weird thrusters I went through the ground and I went to this side you can still hear the thrusters even though I'm not I'm not even close to them like the thrusters are technically over there but I'm here right so sound detours awesome amazing really good um, all I have to do now is really just finish up the add-on tweak some stuff make it as good as possible and it'll basically just be done so this will probably be the final finalized version I can't imagine the generation looking any different than this so <clears throat> that's pretty much it for now um, next video will probably actually be explaining why <clears throat> how to build an ACF car properly using the mechanics of the infinite map because some cars may not be compatible due to how the map works but I'll explain that in a different video uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you hopefully in the next video